mm. like there's like no book for this. Oh yeah. Like there's no right or wrong answer. There's no, no right answer. Even there's with your no PhD. Right <laughs> There's You're no right in the ghetto. Answer, so yeah. I think that's been really difficult. Just yeah. having to rest with, wrestle with the, the fact that I'm probably messing up. Yeah. And there's no like potential way that I can do anything perfect. Woo! Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a really exciting video because I'm doing a collaboration with a couple of other moms that are here in Kenya. I've talked a little bit about my own personal journey to and through motherhood on my channel, but motherhood is a unique experience for everyone. So I thought that it would be cool to kind of bring in some other moms who I really admire and respect, just kind of chat about the real deal about motherhood and kind of how we've approached it in our personal lives. So really excited to have Sheila and Shiki here um, to chat with me about motherhood. I hope that y'all enjoy our conversation. We have some wine, we've been kikiing and chit chatting and already kind of like getting into it. So um, yeah, keep on watching. Before we actually get started, in case y'all for some strange reason don't know who these beautiful <laughs> ladies are, I will have them just quickly introduce themselves. All right, my name is Sheila. Um, I'm a mother to a 12 month old son called Roman and I'm an entrepreneur as well. Hi, my name is Shiki. I am a mom of two, which is so strange to say. <laughs> I have an almost six year old daughter and an almost six month old daughter. And you guys already know, you don't know the name of my kid, but yeah. he is 16 months old. So I have a 16 month old. So um, I thought it was cool to kind of one, have Shiki here, who's a mom of two and has a slightly older child. Sheila and I, our kids are sort of closer in age, but even the way that we've both kind of come to be moms and the way that we kind of operate our lives is still pretty different. So hopefully our unique experiences are really interesting. So maybe let's just start talking about, um, did you always know that you wanted to be a mom? Let's start there. I actually, I never wanted to be a mother. Like I was always like, oh my goodness, if I, the day I become a mother, I have to be married. It has to be like strict, you know? Um, but then, you know, things happen. <laughs> they do. They do happen. And yeah. I remember one year before I conceived, I really wanted to be a mother. Like I think from ex my, you know, engagement with my friends, a lot of them like had kids, newborns at that particular time and I was just like, baby fever was yeah. hitting me. <laughs> and my son was actually planned for. Like uh -huh. I, we we both wanted mm -hmm. to have him at that particular time. Yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, nice. Yeah. Baby fever is so real. But things real. change. It yeah, is. it is. It is. Yeah. yeah. But I think it hits you different when you're a mom. The baby fever, because mm. you'll feel it, but you'll remember, <laughs> and you're like, it's okay. <laughs> I'm good. I'll just smile at their kid. Yeah. I don't have yeah. to actually go and have another one. Of yeah. Mine. Get um, get your fix from from another kid. Yeah. Okay. Right now, I look at cute babies who are younger than Roman, and yeah. I'm just like. You're like, you like me? I'm yeah. Back. No, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. One is done. enough. I think when I was small, I always wanted to be a mom. I think that, especially because I, although when I was a teenager, like, was annoyed with my mom, but really, <laughs> when I was really like small, yeah. like, I just loved how I thought I had a really good mom, yeah. um, and so want, always wanted to be someone who had a legacy of children. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, I don't think I necessarily thought about, you know, yes, I also thought about the family structure, but it was, I was one of those people, like, I was gonna have a kid regardless. Like, yeah. I, like even if I never met the right person, yeah. like, I was yeah. gonna have some babies, I wanted yeah. kids. Um, so it was definitely always really important to me. Um, and then about the baby fever. <laughs> yeah, now I, I can definitely scroll through and be like, oh, that's a super cute baby, but yeah. 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 <laughs> we're good over here for right now. Cuter on good. that side, <laughs> yeah. yeah. But for me, I don't think there was ever really, you know, that desire, like I must have a kid, I must have a kid. I just kind of felt like it was just part of the process, mm. kind of, mm. that I would grow up, I would get a job, I would have a kid. And I think just like Ijoma, even for me, I didn't, I was like, I'll probably have a kid regardless. I've grown up around many single moms. So for me, it was just kind of like, yeah, you could be married, you could be a single mom. Either way was fine. Yeah, but I don't think I, I don't think as I was growing up, I thought I must have children, I must have children. I just kind of felt like it's gonna be one of those things that yeah. is part of the journey. Yeah. But Sheila, I know that you talked about that the timing of when you wanted to have Roman was really intentional. I also, you know, knew at the time that I wanted to have a kid, but it took me, it took us longer um, to conceive than I thought. Shiki, what about yeah. your timing? Did mm. you 
plan. Did you, yeah, did you know that that was the right time, or how did okay. you kind of decide, like, okay, like this is now the time to have kids? Both the first one and the second one. Uh, completely different experiences for the two. The first one just happened. <laughs> but the second one was intentional. Um, we decided that the, 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 the spacing of the two kids was going to get a bit too wide. And personally, for me, I knew I wanted to have a second kid. Um, only because I'm an only child. I really wanted my kid to have a sibling. She's such an extrovert. Like, she just, she deserves to have somebody there with her. Uh, so for the second one, yes, it was intentional. Uh, so we kind of just tried for a bit and it happened. Yeah, and I'd, oh, another thing I had kind of internally told myself is that I wanted to be done with the, chi with the child bearing by my 32nd birthday. And I got pregnant just after my second, my 32nd birthday. Uh, well, for me, I think yeah. we had discussed about having kids, mm -hmm. uh, but then at the beginning we we're just like, you know, we're not ready yet, we need to make money, you know, that's I think yeah. every household, everyone yeah. is just like, let's hustle first. Mm -hmm. uh, but then later on we we're just like, what the heck, let's just... <laughs> yeah, <laughs> let's the time is never right. That, yeah, yeah, exactly, it's never right. Yeah. You can end up wanting to, you know, plan and then waiting for years and years just because you're waiting to have yeah. enough money. Mm -hmm. like, yeah. Yeah, and then you might wait, and then it might take you longer than you exactly. thought to get to have a baby. So, yeah. Um, yeah, in terms of number, so I, mm -hmm. uh, I think like six months ago I would have said I'm okay, like yeah. we're done. Yeah. But I think I'm now reaching the point where I can entertain the thought of potentially okay. another child. I think um, it's initial, it's initial trauma that yeah. every so mom much trauma. feels. Yeah, because even for me, I said I'm never doing this again, <laughs> which is the worst decision the I worst. made. Yeah, just yeah. so much toll on your body. Um, but yes, but Jonathan wants. We talk about like four. But I don't wow. know where are those four gonna come from? Even she initially was like, "Yeah, let's just have four kids. We're gonna work hard. They're gonna be fine." We had the one, and he was like, "Okay, <laughs> so maybe we can spring for two. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, that's, that's interesting. It. At least he yeah. came down reasonably. Oh, he came Jonathan down. Jonathan is still like, I'm like, unless you're trying to carry wow, them, bro. yeah. But knowing you, <laughs> Joma, you love kids, so I think I do. Just, oh, you do. Yeah. I do love kids, but what I don't, and I didn't realize this is, mm -hmm. it really just took, it does take a toll on your mind, your body. Everything. It changes, <laughs> it changes everything. <laughs> so it's like, I feel like there was so much that I wanted to do. Yeah. So many places I wanted to go. You can't yeah. go nowhere. Uh, nope. You have nope. to make arrangements for your child. You can't like up and hop friendly? on a plane. Yeah, you have yeah. To think, or even just going to a restaurant. Like, oh, yeah. will there be a high chair? Yes. Or you know, can I breastfeed yeah. in public? Like, yes. they're just your entire world changes. Yeah. <laughs> and I, so, yeah, yeah I, I don't think I anticipate. And I was like, back when I was like, oh, mm -hmm. I'm gonna have like four kids. Yeah. I don't think I realized yeah. how much it would actually change. Yeah my life and who I am. And then it's crazy how like all of our kids right now like were born during the pandemic. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, you can't even use yes. them. Yeah, you <laughs> stuck with them. You yes. really are stuck with them. I think um, they'll have social social issues. Yeah. As they kids. haven't. They don't interact with a lot. They of don't people. know how yeah. to interact. Our kids had a play date um, oh, last week. It was so cute. <laughs> but it was their first it was it was my son's first play date. Oh, oh my goodness baby cola was just like Who's just smiling the entire time? Yeah, just like around. this yeah. is a child that looks yeah. baby. This one looks like baby. But Robert was like trying to hold his hand, trying to oh, kiss him. Oh, oh so God. cute! I was just like, Please, no more kids. <laughs> no. It was really yeah. cute. I think actually seeing them play together did make it feel more important mm. to try and have a. Yeah, provide a sibling. Yeah. Because yeah. um, it is nice to, to yeah. have someone else to play around. Exactly. Not only just for the kid, but also for me. Like, no, I had mostly, time. mostly, <laughs> mostly for you. Like, for me, um, simply because of their, their gap. Yeah. I mean, my first one is five. I can literally just be like, just sit right there with your sister. You are such mm -hmm. a great big sister. And just go to the kitchen and yeah. make my breakfast. Yeah. It's fantastic. Nice. Let so would you recommend that age gap? Because I've had people yes. who say like, you yeah. know, have them back to back because then you're just done. <laughs> yes. And you're over. Yeah. Hmm. I think there's an advantage to that and a disadvantage to that. Yeah. Okay, I would know. <laughs> but <laughs> but what have you heard? Yeah. Theoretically. Yeah. <laughs> theoretically. I think it's great to just, you know, so that they can both grow up together. Yeah. But also it's great if there's a, you know, there's a gap so that now the older one can, you know, teach the younger one a few things. I, I, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I agree. I agree with you. I agree with you. Because yeah. the back-to-back the -back thing is usually you're being told just finish. Mm -hmm. yeah. Finish with the childbearing. But for me, I was still so traumatized. Even by age three, I was just like, guys, I'm not <laughs> sure. I can do this again. Yeah. 
Yeah, um, so I think it's just a personal preference. Yeah. Both have their advantages, you're yeah. right. So this big gap, I would recommend it, um, or rather I would say it's not a bad thing. I thought it was a bad thing, yeah. but it's not a bad thing. Um, the kid understands more. And remember, as we grow up, the yeah. age gap gets smaller. Yeah. So right Doesn't now, feel as large yeah. exactly. Yeah, when you're like 25. Exactly. 20. Yeah. They can True. still be homies yeah. and, you know, have the same experiences, yeah. go out together yeah. and do stuff together. Yeah. And did you forget how to like <laughs> like yeah. how yeah. to go about with a newborn like yes. is that yeah. a thing because most yeah. people say hey you'll forget yeah. like you <laughs> do <laughs> you do I'm, I, I, I ask my friends who've had kids more recently oh, than me a lot of stuff and for me the second my second baby is very different from my first um, personality wise or the experience um, of having even just yeah personality wise first of all even size wise guys mm. like my first one was she was so tiny mm. just Shiloh, Shiloh is a chunky baby. She's <laughs> chunky, so how she feeds is different. Um, she takes a lot more. Um, aside from that, even their personalities are generally just a bit different. But right now, she's too young for me to really, really know. Yeah. yeah. Shiki, do you feel like in the time between when you had your first kid mm -hmm. and your second one that yeah. the landscape of how we operate in our lives, like? Yeah. The fact that we're on our phones all the time, like, mm. did that change your how you even feel about yourself as a mother, and how you've kind of thought about the approach to mothering with all this yeah. information, yeah. all of these Instagram pages, yeah. etc. Yes, yes, it's completely different. Uh, with my first, yes, we had the internet, etc. Mm. But <laughs> I, I don't feel like I used it as much as I have now, and I feel like there's definitely so many more resources online. These apps. Mm -hmm. Um, I had a tracking app with my first baby as well, but even baby products are so different. Yeah. They are very <laughs> different. They're, they're like high tech. Yeah. They're high tech. tech. <laughs> like a kid, a kid doesn't have to do anything. The other day I saw there's knee to help them while they are crawling. I was what? like, nah fam, <laughs> nah fam. <laughs> You're in the house. You're on a carpet. Uh, yeah, there's knee pads. There's a little um, pillow around their necks that holds their bottles, they don't actually oh, have to wow. hold the bottle. That's a little bit too much. And I feel like that's just <laughs> making the baby lazy. It's, I don't know, yeah. Also, not even lazy from a, like, work standpoint. Yeah. Just about mental yeah. standpoint. Exactly, like, you need exactly. To, you're like supposed you're to know. Yourself. It's all the work you need to do. I feel like there's just a lot more information um, yeah. this time around than there was that time. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 So you said you use tracking apps. I yeah. thought I was going to be the person who, who would use a tracking app. Yeah, it, it was my Bible. Uh, I think <laughs> I made it Bible. like eight weeks and I was like, I actually don't care what time Me I do. Like, <laughs> is he fed or no? <laughs> oh, oh no, my tracking, my, my Bible tracking app was while I was pregnant. Yeah. Oh, while I was pregnant, uh, I was just like, yeah. they say, okay, so they say watermelon, <laughs> size of a watermelon, <laughs> definitely. I have a watermelon, yeah. yeah I, I, I think for the apps, do you, when you're pregnant, yeah. everybody checks. Like yeah. every Yes, yes. Like, every week. There's a different just... type of energy. But yes. afterwards, no. uh, you know, actually, recently I just told my friend, I can't even remember the last time I checked for an update. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 I think it must have been five months. I <laughs> just never been yes. checking again. Because even for me, now is when yeah. I become lazy with that. Because initially, I would keep checking because I had forgotten everything. Yeah. I didn't know when what is supposed to be done. I didn't know when the baby is supposed to yeah. like, sit up. Mm -hmm. Even now, mm -hmm. I'm still learning slowly. Yeah. So that's when I usually check. If I'm, if someone has mentioned, like, has, has she started sitting? Mm -hmm. Has she started supporting mm -hmm. herself? Then I'm like, ooh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see what she's supposed to be doing. Yeah. Well, I was yeah. tempted to check the other day because I was like, my baby still has not food. But I was uh -huh. like, OK. I should not stress because the gymma keeps telling me, ah, oh, yeah. it will yeah. happen when it happens. Yeah. I mean, he's yeah. working now, so I mean, oh. he's already one, and I'm thinking, oh my god, even just one. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I was the same. I was the same way because we also got teeth late, yeah. and so and I remember there. Were, and this is like the issue with Instagram because yeah. I specifically remember this one person who I follow, who I really like. I'm friends with her, yeah. um, and her daughter is a month younger mm. than my son and her daughter had teeth at six months two oh. teeth and her daughter also started walking at nine months oh and so i was okay. like wow. this baby has teeth this baby's walking <laughs> mine has zero teeth it's not doing anything like yeah are we doing something wrong um and it, it definitely yeah. took some time to realize well, also a lot of Googling. Yeah. yeah. And the one the good thing, once you like get off Instagram, you go on yeah. Google, yeah. there's so many ranges for things. Exactly. So like with walking, I was like, they can walk mm. anywhere from nine months to 18 months yeah. and it's yeah. all normal. And it's all, it's all okay. fine. 
Um, yeah. But it can definitely be really difficult like when you're online to... Mm, you can kind of start comparing your child's exactly. development yeah. to other You can't people. help it. All kids yeah. are different. Yeah. Yeah. And it continues up until... I mean, we are almost at six years old and... You're still it's, comparing. It still <laughs> happens. Yes. yes. When do we no. become free? I don't know yet. <laughs> I'll let you know. <laughs> I don't know yet, but it still happens because now there's teeth falling out. Mm. Um, when we're doing Zoom classes, I was seeing Shazi's friends, I mean her classmates, mm -hmm. with like four teeth out and she hadn't even had one, one out. Now. And I was just like, okay, so when do yeah. teeth start falling out? Even walking and talking, you know, you even hear people say, I don't know if you guys have heard people say, um, girls are quicker to do this, boys yeah. are quicker to do yeah. that. I don't know. I just my eyes so hard. It's yeah. <laughs> it's an individual it's thing, is it is. not? Yeah. I think it's individual, but it's also individual. I think the way that we, if you treat a child like they will do certain things, like yeah. if you say, if you say boys are more active. Yeah. yeah. And so I'm going to let my male child yes. play more and yes. run around more. Then yeah. of course the kid is going to be more active because yeah. you're letting him be more active. <laughs> you're pushing so it's like him a, what, like a self-fulfilling prophecy. Yeah. Like you've yeah. already decided that this is what you think the child should be doing, the baby yes. should be doing, and then you yes. create environments where they yeah. can do that. So. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> it's like a yeah. personal bone yeah. to pick with gender roles because we put yeah. them on babies so young. Yeah. And then also as a mother, you know what's best for your baby. You don't mm. have to be told, oh, yeah. you know, it's a boy, do this. Yeah. You're with the child 24 7. So yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and can it's just, it's unnecessary stress mm -hmm. on a parent. Yeah. Yeah, so I think it's just it's just better to look at what you're saying. Go to Google, look yeah. at the ranges. Mm -hmm. Then if you're worried, pediatrician. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So, we were talking about that earlier, how you should not ask yes. people on Instagram for motherhood <laughs> advice. Like, ask your pediatrician. Exactly. They're there for a reason. And don't <laughs> take don't take my advice as Bible truth. What do yeah. I know? <laughs> I only know my that, child. And then when you don't respond back, the catchy feeling, and you know. It's, it's a child is very sensitive. You just can't yeah. be like, oh, I use this knife. Yeah. You can recommend, mm. but then yeah. it's always best to just have a, a better opinion. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. You can say this yeah, works for me. Actually, yeah. yeah. Especially yeah. with kids, there's so many things. So many. Yeah, I know. I've I've actually been asked what I what what did you use for colic? So I'm like, my baby was not a colicky baby, so I don't know. What are you using for this? And I know weaning will start, and I'll start being asked, oh. what did you start with? And someone will start with that. Yeah. Yeah. You know. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And then be mad if like their child doesn't respond doesn't to it. Respond like, to it. Like, no, you have to do. Yeah. You have to figure it out on your own. Yeah, I think with. With parenthood, you just have to figure it out mm -hmm. on your own as you go. Yeah, it's yeah. good to ask for advice though, but yeah. yes. also do your research and just know your child is different. Mm. Yeah. 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 Can we actually talk about <laughs> baby stroke? Yeah. Work balance? Oh, <laughs> yes! <laughs> Do, does yes, it exist? <laughs> <laughs> when did you go back to work after having Roman? I think or when did, was, did you stop working ever? I never stopped working. Because <laughs> I go. think I... I I gave birth to him in April, mm. right in the middle of the pandemic. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Just yeah. And I was also in the process of like expanding my business. Mm. Oh my god, it was the worst timing ever. Ay, ay, ay. I think I went, I didn't stop working. I think even just a day before he was born, I was at work. Wow. wow. I was at work. And I officially like went back maybe three weeks afterwards mm. just to show my face and then mm. just to see if progress is going okay yeah. and then I officially went back like I was going every day when Roman was two months. Wow. wow. Imagine. Oh that's I think lot. because you also you run Imagine. a physical business yes. you're yes. managing employees yeah. I yes. think especially as a a CEO yeah. of a place yeah. where you're you're managing people it kind yeah. of maybe is more important to show up physically yeah um, would it's you have done anything differently though do you could you ha could you have envisioned a world in which you took a proper maternity leave I, yes I How would that saying, have happened? Right now, I keep blaming myself because Roman he it didn't he didn't breastfeed for long, um, mm. and it's because I wasn't there. Mm. So I usually just like, oh, I feel so bad about it because even right now he does he just doesn't like milk. He's like, oh, you're oh, free. You should be happy. <laughs> you're free. <laughs> because we're over here. I told you like my son is still struggling and then. I know that when you get home and then you just like you want your baby yeah. to come and hold you yeah. and just breastfeed. It's such I, I never. I never got that with him mm. because at three months, four months, he was already like starting to oh. not to want to breastfeed. At least we were able to make it to, till like almost seven. But okay, <laughs> okay, because good of job. Forcing, I was trying to force him, but he was being fed mostly um, from the bottle. Okay. Uh, so I do regret. That's the only thing I regret. Okay. But other than that, I mean, I had to get yeah. some work done. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That was necessary. I had to hustle. Mm. Like was it's necessary. all for him. So. Exactly. Mm. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. 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 Oh wow. What for me again two two different experiences yeah my the first time i 
took full proper maternity leave for the for I think three and a half months I was not working at all um, managed to store so much milk because yeah. all I was doing was pumping mm. feeding my baby and I had help from my family mm. I was living with my family at the time so it was I think it was a lot easier to you know do the mothering things and I was also kind of being guided through it mm. so they're the ones who told me you know maybe we should try weaning now mm. yeah uh, we should yeah. try. Yeah, we, we started weaning quite early because for me now the issue was she's allergic. To, she was allergic to every other milk. We oh, tried everything. Okay. We tried all kinds of formula. We even tried goat milk. Mm. I think we tried camel milk. <laughs> even. Yeah, she was completely allergic to everything. Completely lactose intolerant. We even tried lactose free, and it was a no. It was she would flare up. Yeah, so I had. To, it was just my milk. Then we had to wean her early because I went back to work. Yeah. yeah, so the maternity leave itself was good the first time around. Second time around, because of influencing and whatnot, I was working all yeah. through. Yeah, been, been working all through. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but not physically, not like Sheila. Yeah. I was working from home. Yeah, yeah which I'm sure is a lot easier than... <laughs> yeah. Even, yeah. Even now when he's older, but I'm just like... Oh. Like just today, I was telling them I left the house at 5.30 in the morning. Yeah. The hustle, <laughs> like, girl. <laughs> Uh, wow. <laughs> so I'll probably even get home after yeah. he's asleep. Yeah. <laughs> oh man. Because he sleeps yeah. by 8 pm. So okay. maybe I'll just be just arriving home. Mm. Okay. But you yeah. have to do what you have to do. Yeah. You do. And I'm gonna have some help. help. Yeah. Yeah. And as Thank you said, God. it's yeah. all for him. So yeah. Um, yeah, so for me I I think because I also had a Christmas time baby, mm. so that's already kind of a built in yeah. No one's Holiday really expecting work mm. on like the twenty seventh. Yeah. So I stopped working a week before his due date. He mm -hmm. came a week after, so like two weeks then, okay. and then was on maternity leave. As in, I had an out of office mm. email responder mm -hmm. <laughs> for the first six weeks, but you know, still I was, I still found myself wanting to do yeah. something that yeah. didn't involve the child. Because <laughs> that's literally your, your breastfeeding changing a diaper. Yeah. Breastfeeding changing a diaper. Yeah. That's so even though I didn't like technically have to work, I, I feel like I was on my computer a decent amount. Yeah. Because I just I, I wanted to do something. I wanted to have an identity outside yeah. of, of the child. Yeah. Yeah. What is the hardest thing about being a mom? Hmm. <laughs> There's so many things. It's, you know, it's, like, it's you generally hard. hard. <laughs> what is the hardest thing? Oh wow. Like as a newborn, it's lack of sleep. Mm. Mostly for me because he had colic, oh. so you can imagine not sleeping through the night and I have to go to work the following, <laughs> the following day. So for mm. me, that, that that's really it. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, when did he start sleeping through the night? I'm I'm just here fishing for when my life is gonna get back to normal. <laughs> oh, I trained Roman from when he was like four months, and I remember I asked you about. Yeah, we talked about sleep training. Yeah. We spoke about that, and she was just like, I just let him sleep. Yeah. He screams, but then I'm just like, no, 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 just, you yeah. know, so I, I trained him out. from when he was four months. So mm. when he got to five, he was already sleeping through the night wow. by himself. Must and that really time he was sleeping nice. by 7 p.m. Yeah. He was only waking up once to, wow. to feed. But then now, as we speak, mm -hmm. he is sleeping through the night. He sleeps at 8 p.m. and sleeps at 7.30 in the morning. Mm. Yeah. Can we exchange babies yeah. for a bit? <laughs> <laughs> it's like, yeah, it's in his own room, it's even. Bed. Yeah. Wow, that sounds like I can, so nice. I can do my work, I can sleep, I can, you know. Do wow. Everything. That's the most liberating thing. And yeah. we kicked him out of our room at yeah. five months. And okay. then I think, especially when he started eating, mm. then it was easier to kind of push through the night. Mm. Yeah. So I would say by like seven and a half months, he was sleeping from seven okay. to. I wish he would wake up at seven thirty. I need that extra hour. Yeah, it must be so nice. Up at like yeah. six. I'm like, wow. <laughs> um, yeah. I think yeah. the hardest thing overall for me has been. I think as someone who is I feel like I'm very like book smart mm. but there's like, there's like no book for this oh yeah <laughs> like there's no right or wrong answer there's no, no right answer even there's with your no PhD right <laughs> <laughs> there's You're no right in the ghetto. answer so yeah. I think that's been really difficult just yeah. having to rest with wrestle with the the fact that I'm probably messing up yeah, yeah. and there's no like potential way that I can do anything perfect yeah. I was talking to someone a couple of days ago and they they're a therapist um, who's also a mom, and they were mm -hmm. saying that it doesn't matter how good of a parent you are, yeah. 20 years from now, your kid will be in therapy talking about what you do, they're still going to talk about you in Woo! therapy. I was like, that really hit hard. It's like, yeah, you know, you can't, 
which is also freeing in some way, but yeah. I think right now is typically, or sometimes kind of stressful, mm. just like there's, yeah. no, there's no right way to do it. And I think as yeah. a person who's yeah. kind of type A and likes to do things perfectly, like yeah. I can't do it perfectly. Okay. So that's hard to kind of come yeah. to terms with. Like okay. you can't go by the book. Because there's no book. So for me, I think the hardest thing is is the fact that there are such big decisions that you have to make for an entire life, for an entire person. Um, and you know how there's, there's mother's intuition. So there's times that you feel some type of way. So I really struggle with separating whether that's just me being worried as a mom or should I follow that intuition. Yeah, I find that's, I think it's really difficult because even things like, um, I'll, I'll talk about something that uh, we've talked about as friends with my friends because mm -hmm. we have different views. Even something as um, something like vaccinating your child. <laughs> yeah, there's all that information out there that says this. Other things say that. So you have to make the choice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and you don't know what will happen mm -hmm. after you make that choice. Mm -hmm. I think for me that's the hardest thing: making the really big decisions mm -hmm. that will have a big impact on the child. And I don't know. There's no book. <laughs> there's no book. I don't know yeah. what's right, what's yeah. wrong. Yeah. I don't know if I am. Um, ruining my child um, I don't know if they'll turn out a certain way because of decisions that I made yeah. I, I really struggle with that yeah, yeah. and then when yeah. they get older they're just like oh your mom don't want anything to do with you yeah <laughs> and I'm starting to see like I think from age maybe around age three they really remember stuff so what's one thing that you wish that you knew mm. before you became a mom mm. so this is like advice for anyone who's not yet a mom mm. FYI before you <laughs> journey yes. down that road yes <laughs> Mm -hmm. she can go first. I go first. <laughs> <laughs> Man, for me, I think it's just the toll it takes on you um, mentally, emotionally, financially, <laughs> financially as well. Um, and also, the I, I don't know if I was prepared for how much you lose yourself because for me, I think it really happened with my first. I really struggled seeing my friends. You know, moving on mm. with their lives, the yeah. things that we were talking about that we wanted yeah. to do, um, seeing them do all of those yeah. things. And I was, I was the first of my very close friends here in the country um, to have a kid. So it was tough. Mm. It was tough to call someone and they're like, yeah, we're with so-and-so, we're doing this, this, this. And I'm like, I didn't know about <laughs> it. <laughs> Why didn't anyone tell me? Not that I could come. Yeah. But... For me, it's kind of the same because you actually don't get it. You don't have a social life anymore. Let me just put it that way. Yeah. It'll be back. It'll be back later. Later. But yeah. Later. When does it come back? It comes when? back. It comes back. Um, it's around. It's hard for us now because we're still in the pandemic. So it's like even oh, yeah. in the world. It's like there's anything. no social life because uh. of pandemic and also because of yeah. us being moms. I was actually very happy to be pregnant during a pandemic because no one can have one. Yeah. That's all okay now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it comes back like around the time before I decided to go and get pregnant yeah. again. <laughs> I had finally gotten my life back yeah. because okay. the kid was old enough yeah. to even do. Um, sleepovers mm. um but the sleepovers at my parents mm. i mean at my at my family Families. yeah so they would be like they would just ask for mm. her mm -hmm. and we'd be able to have a weekend yeah. and feel like we are childless yeah. for a bit. <laughs> <laughs> just, just just for a bit yeah, yeah. so it does come back okay. maybe yeah. um three or four years in. okay <laughs> <laughs> <Not like ish. laughs> no yeah. like right now even just the weekend i'm just like oh my I mean, I love my child to death, but yeah. sometimes you just like, oh, this is too yeah. much. It's yeah. always too much. Too much. <laughs> Grand -grand like on Mondays, my best. money comes in and I'm just like, here's your child. Yeah. <laughs> he <laughs> missed you. Yeah. Sundays, are, your Sundays are the hardest. Yeah, yeah Sundays. Do you have full-time help? We do. We do oh, have yeah. full-time help. That was actually something that was difficult for me to wrap my head around because oh, it's different I, did, for you. Yeah, yeah. I didn't grow up with the concept of full-time help. Oh, wow. Um, that's not... It's a, it's a luxury in America, yeah. yes. and so most people um, just use daycare system yeah. or just like stay home yeah. and wow. just become like you know a single income household. So yeah. the concept of having someone who is in your house every the single entire day, time yeah. watching your child all day long. I was like, <laughs> but <No>. why? why? <laughs> yeah. So it took a long time. So I actually started off with part time. She okay. would come part time, and then she would first just do like house mm. stuff. Mm. And then eventually I was like, okay, now you can like do you some can baby hold stuff. the child. <laughs> yeah, you can change this diaper. Now you deserve to change a diaper. Yeah. yeah. And then eventually kind of built up that trust. Yeah. Um, yeah. 
And I think also, I, I probably also needed the time to bond. Mm, yes. And so when I felt like, okay, we're cool. Yeah, So yeah, eventually we went full time with our yeah. nanny in when he was eight months old. Yeah. Okay. Um, so it did take a little bit of time. Yeah. But I can't, trust. what I can't do and I don't ever see myself do, I don't know about living, y'all. I can't, I don't know oh, how y'all do that. Oh, that's not living, okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. it's a living. Nope. <laughs> it's a living. And I can't imagine mm -hmm. not having a living. Me too. No, no, no. <laughs> yeah, but for the first year of <laughs> Shazi's life, we didn't have a living. Yeah. We had um, we had a day bug. Like yeah. she would come and she would leave. And right now, as we're sitting here, I have no idea how I made it through that year. Mm -hmm. I had a very stressful job. Um, then I would still come home, and I think I was the one doing yeah. the cooking. Mm -hmm. wow. Then we had to do bath time, and then you have to eat, and then we have to have a conversation, myself and the man, yeah, so yeah. that we don't forget who the other yeah. is. Oh There's also that Kenyan saying that goes, sorry, I'm just jumping a bit off topic. Yeah. Um, they say, uh, I think you'll have to put the <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The translation. Yeah. You know, um, itakuja na sahani yake. Like when mm. they say, you just get a child. The Lord will provide. Yeah, oh. they say every child um, yeah. comes with their plate. Comes with their plate. Like, oh. yeah. So like basically, it, you saying that you don't have money to have four kids, you'll be told, no, it's okay. It's okay. Every child comes with their plate. Like, God will provide. Which kind of, kind <laughs> yes, of, kind we of. we do believe that. Yeah. But it also... kind of works, but... Oh. Yeah, somehow, <laughs> but it's not It's not no. that they come with their plate. It's just that you work harder. <laughs> yeah. 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 Mm. And other sacrifices have to be made yeah. to yeah. accommodate. The kids are expensive. Yeah. Having yeah. them yeah. is no expensive. Yeah. Raising them is expensive. I remember being so shocked by yeah. um, our um, hospital bill the first time around. Because yeah. my insurance covered such a small fraction mm. like my insurance covered i think a quarter of the yeah. bill wow. yeah so we were sitting there and collecting all the money we had everywhere and i remember yeah. feeling so proud that we didn't have to ask anyone for um mm. for help because i didn't think we'd be able mm. to do it so i was like wow that's another perspective yeah. shift because i was so one of the main reasons i've talked about this on my channel but one of the reasons why i decided to have my son here is because it was so much cheaper okay yeah. so much cheaper like <laughs> wow. on an insane it's so much so cheaper much really? so i was very excited to get the hospital bill. <laughs> <laughs> is, this, is this is this it yeah <laughs> Um, so and we the quality of care was yeah. really, really good. Yes. So, um, but I, you know, I understand like everything is relative. I think what I think is the hardest thing about being a parent, um, being a mom specifically, huh, what is the hardest thing? Hmm. <laughs> so I feel you on sleep, and I for me yeah. sleep is still I still don't sleep properly, but okay. that's like a combination of things. Um, and then also this idea of like never being able to get it right. Mm. Um, I just, so much change that mm. I wasn't ready for. Mm. My physical body change. Oh, yes. Yo, I really thought, I never thought mm. I was gonna snap back like this, but yeah. I didn't think you that didn't I'd be like yeah. almost a year and a half later still yeah. not confident in my body. Yeah. Um, my sex life changed. Oh. Ain't nobody talked about that. <laughs> Oh, wow. but no one more said people, anything. More Zero people, people talk said about anything that. about yeah, what changed. Like, no true. one said anything. Nobody said that changed, and yeah. then also was like, wait, is this normal? Yeah. Mm, and then like, no one had talked about it, so that I didn't know if yes. I was normal or if something was wrong with me. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I think that I just wasn't. I just feel like I wasn't ready mentally. Yeah. I was. I had yeah. read a lot of books. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah you read all the books. Nerd. I, had, I had a lot I of books, but books. I still wasn't fully, fully yeah. prepared for all of the changes that would happen to. I think individual. I knew what would happen to the baby. Yeah. I knew what, what I should look out for. We're yes. talking about, you know, I knew the developmental milestones, yes. but I didn't know what would happen to, yeah. to you as a person. As a person. Yeah. yeah. Wow, and I love that you've mentioned um, even things like, yeah. yes, your, your body physically. For me, my with my first versus my second, mm -hmm. again, very different experiences. By, I think, four or five months with, um, with my firstborn, mm -hmm. I had... Mm, <laughs> Even yeah. you snatch. Uh, I just wear the right clothes. Uh, <laughs> I, I wear the right clothes and I know angles. Do not be fooled. It's a mess. Yeah. <laughs> Second time around is whew, it's yeah, a lot. Wow. But at least I feel like uh, mentally I'm kind of aware at least of some of the things like what you're talking about, mm -hmm. sex life. Mm -hmm. For me, that was a very shocking thing. Yeah. Like, I thought there was something wrong with me. I thought the baby broke me, <laughs> you know? Yeah. Yeah. So at least I know those things from the first time around. Yeah. It's still just yeah. as stressful. 
but at least I was aware that it would happen. Yeah. But thank you so much, Sheila and Shikian, yeah. yeah, for, for joining us. me on my channel to talk about motherhood. Yeah. This, yeah. I feel like we can continue talking. There's so much more. There's we don't so really scratch much. the surface, yeah. so there's a lot more yeah. to be said. Um, yeah. But I think our biggest takeaway is that two big takeaways. One yeah. is that there's you can never do anything perfectly, so you're just gonna mess up. Just accept that you're gonna mess up. <laughs> yeah. There's no guidebook. Um, and so, you know, don't stress about mm -hmm. how you're doing as a mother, how you're doing as a parent, because there's no perfect way. No. Yeah. There's no perfect way. Yeah. Um, what would you say is another, oh, a second takeaway, yeah. I think, it, wait, what's the second takeaway? Every child is different. Yes. Don't compare oh, yourself to yes, somebody else. Yes, yes, yeah. yes. That's a good one too. And, and, and make, make informed decisions, mm -hmm. like, um, don't just listen to what other moms are yeah. doing. Do your own research mm -hmm. before you make a decision yeah. for your kid. Yeah, awesome. Yeah, mm -hmm. awesome. Would love to know your motherhood experiences and advice down below in the comments. And I will also link down below, of course, where you can find both Sheila and Shiki on the internet. They out here in these streets. Yes. So <laughs> make sure you go follow them and support their channels yeah. and their um, pages in case you aren't already. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching. Bye.